folks, I'm Raz, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you an IELTS writing task one with an overview and practice. So let's take a look at both the tasks. The task one for the academic is a report writing, and the student has to write for 150 to 180 words for 20 minutes. On the other hand, the task two is essay, which is both academic, general, 250 to 280 words, and the student has to complete it in 40 minutes. So friends, in this video, I'm going to share with you the task one report writing for academic. Let's take a look at the task assessment. So 25% is for task achievement, which means that you need to answer everything that you're asked to do in the question. The other 25% is coherence and cohesion, in which you need to use structured paragraphs and standard expressions. The next 25% is lexical resource, in which you need to use the wide range of vocabulary. And the last is the grammar range accuracy, which is 25% in which you need to use different kinds of sentences ranging from simple, compound and complex. Now let's take a look at the task one report writing 20 minutes, 150 to 180 words. So all in all, we are going to make four different paragraphs. The first is an introduction. The second will be an overview. It's like a summary. The paragraph three is we are going to make analysis and group comparisons of different years. And the last is paragraph four, which is making analysis and group comparisons of the remaining years. So let's take a look at how we can do that. So these are the types of the graphs that we can get. Now, the first one is a describing facts and figures, which is mostly represented by bar graphs. The next is the describing trends, which is line graphs, summarizing, organize, compare graphs, tables, charts, grouping information, group data, describing a process, could be a diagram or a map. So let's go ahead and practice question. So the first graph that we are going to be discussing in this video is a diagram. You should spend about 20 minutes on this task. The diagrams below illustrate early two from 1.4 million years ago and 800,000 years ago. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Write at least 150 words. So let me share an ideal answer that can help you score a good band. So let's see how we can describe a process. So all in all, as I discussed, that we're going to be making four different paragraphs. So the first is an introduction where we can say the diagram presents a comparison of prehistoric tools dating back 1.4 and 0.8 million years ago. Overall, the older tool is less refined with rougher edges, while the newer one appears smoother and better preserved. Comparing the two tools from the frontal view, the one from 1.4 million years ago is slightly narrower, displaying a less defined shape. The more recent one com comes to a sharper point with clearly rounded sides. On the contrary, the side view reveals that the older tool is also bulkier with more jagged indents than the much smoother one from 800,000 years ago. Finally, in terms of the back view, there is a distinct contrast as the newer has fewer major cracks and closely mirrors its front side. The older tool, on the other hand, is approximately half the size overall and is chipped down greatly in the back. 
So let's take a look at the graph too. You should spend about 20 minutes on this task. The bar chart shows the percentage of elderly citizens in three countries in 1980, 2000, and 2030. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Write at least 150 words. Let's take a look at this bar graph friends, which is describing facts and figures. So the first paragraph, the graph details the percentages of elderly people in Canada, Germany, and the UK in the past with projections for the future. Looking from an overall perspective, it is readily apparent that elderly populations have risen and are predicted to continue to grow steadily in all countries. Germany will continue to have the highest proportion, while Canada will likely overtake the UK. In 1980, Germany had the greatest percentage of elderly at 15%, slightly above the UK and 5% higher than Canada. By 2000, percentages for Germany and Canada both surged by 5% to 20% and 15% respectively, compared to the UK which rose marginally to equal with Canada. By 2030, Germany is expected to rise by another 5% to 25%, with Canada surpassing the United Kingdom and finishing at 22%, and the latter figure is lagging behind slightly at just under 20%. Thank you so much, friends, for watching this video and keep watching more IELTS writing videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.